Aloha, hi everybody, it's Rasha. It is 73 weeks post gastric sleeve surgery for me. Hopefully you can hear me and it's not too windy. Uh, 73 weeks and, or a year and five months. Anyway, it's Wednesday, September 24th, 2014. And as you can see, hey, we live in the Pacific Northwest. I'm out here in Portland, so it's raining. Fall has officially fallen, <laughs> uh, which means I'm out here braving the elements to come to you. I'll show you my body in a little bit, but I figured it'd be easier just to kind of talk to you from here Woo! and try not to blow away. Anyway, I am down some more weight. I'm 157 pounds, uh, 10 pounds under goal weight, and I hope to stay around here. I mean, I might lose a little bit more, might go up a little bit more, I'm not quite sure. So I am down a total of 131 pounds from my highest, which my highest weight was 288 pounds, or 113 actually from the day after surgery 73 weeks ago. And I'm sorry, I have hair everywhere, so I wanna pull it away. Because uh, <laughs> I was 270 pounds the day after my gastric sleeve surgery. So I've had a lot of questions come up in the past week. Uh, a lot of people were asking me what I eat, um, what my workout regimen is. And right now, I have not been able to get in to see my trainer. So all I'm doing, I'm doing about mm, 45 minutes to an hour of walking throughout the day. And I'm just moving as much as I possibly can. And I'm trying to do my best to eat clean. I actually have been kind of sick the past few days. And I think it's because my body is just kind of pissed off at me. I think I'm Wonder Woman. I do a lot. I trying to run Dafferty Fashions with my wife. And I also still have a, a day job, which ends up being kind of part time. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to move and shake mountains. And my health is slipping a little bit because of that. I've had a little bit more pain from my uh, hematoma that I had surgically removed. And I've gotten really nauseous and ever since I had it removed and I blacked out a few weeks ago. And one of those times I actually, um, kind of TMI, but I started throwing up a lot the other day. And it was after I had some Greek yogurt and chia seeds. I don't know if it was from the chia seeds. I don't know if I had some bad yogurt, but I just haven't felt the same for the past few days. But I'm trying to keep my spirits up as always. And I'm trying to just kind of push through and do my best to keep going on and keep moving on. And a typical day of eating for me, I know people were asking me about that. I wake up, I normally have a sugar-free iced annihilator from Dutch Brothers with 2% milk. And then I have oatmeal with 2% milk. I never finish it. I normally have about half of it. And then I like snack throughout the day. So like today I have this protein powder that I actually fell in love with from Trader Joe's uh, mixed with 2% milk that I'm having. And I'll probably do that over the next few hours. Then for lunch, I'll probably just get a chicken breast. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and then for dinner tonight, I can't remember. I think uh, my wife and I might be going out to dinner tonight. And if that doesn't happen, we'll probably end up just doing like some steak and some salad. And I might snack on a protein bar. So I don't count calories. I don't know what I intake. I just know that I burn off more than what I eat. And uh, when I do work out with my trainer, I'm doing more circuit training, you know, one or two times a week for about an hour each time just to kind of keep my core engaged and strengthened. But I did talk to Marta this week. I don't think I'm going to continue going to her at Primal Instinct Fitness. She's absolutely amazing, but I cannot do the commute anymore. It's, it's killing me. I have to leave at 4.45 in the morning to get to her by 5.30. Um, and then I have uh, my day job that I have to get to at 7.30. So it's just been really, really hard on my body and on our family. So I'm going to hold off and work my butt off on my own. And then um, in the new year, I'm going to have her come out to me out in Washington and work that way. So anyway, uh, let me back up, show you guys my body. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because of all the fun wind, but even though I'm not working out with my trainer, I'm still trying to make smart choices. Woo! Trying to keep my body in shape. Don't mind me, I think I have some of my iPhone stuff out here. And I just wanna tell everybody, go after your dreams. You can do it. Be the rock star that you know you're supposed to be. And I'm not perfect. 
nobody is, but this is my journey and I thank you for coming on it with me. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. As always, go to dappertyfashions.com. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. I talk about all kinds of fun stuff. And yeah, go after your dreams. You are amazing and so am I. Take care, aloha, bye.